Hello designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build, customize and enhance your website. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. In this video, I want to show you how you can find the name of Elementor CSS classes. This is one of the most asked features on the Elementor group and also in the comments. Since I've been teaching a lot of custom CSS, you might want to apply that custom CSS anywhere. Since CSS is universal language and can be applied to any section, column or widget in the context of Elementor, I have two templates here. One is the pop-up and another one is the page. So how do I find the name of the class that I'm looking for? So let's say I want to animate this pop-up using the CSS transitions. I've already taught CSS transition and step one, minimize this side panel. So now you have your proper page or a template. So even if you're on a template or a page, just minimize the side panel. So once you minimize the side panel, right click and click on inspect. So Google Chrome gives me this element window in which I can view various elements. As I hover over each div, it's usually div that you're looking for. So the widget is basically wrapped in a div. So you might just want to hover over div elements. It can be anything. So as you can see here, when I hover over it, you can see that it's an elemental row. And when I scroll and hover over those, you can see those particular classes getting highlighted. So this is all great. Step two, you can also click this over here and click on any widget and it will basically highlight that particular class. And if you're not really sure if that's the class you're looking for, then you can double click this and you can double click the class that's highlighted, move the cursor over here and add a simple code snippet. which will basically add a background color to it. So once you finish typing and when once you click on enter, you, you just added, this is nothing but inline CSS. So you just added a background color red. So whatever the class is, it will have background color red. Previously it didn't have, now we just included it. As you can see, the class that I'm looking for is pop-up and you can clearly see that the pop-up class is having a red background, which means this is the class that I'm looking for. So I can double click this again, simply copy, just double click on this. Once this particular class gets highlighted, copy. And once you copy, since I'm dealing with the pop-up, I know that selector will actually select the entire pop-up, the pop-up and the overlay as well. So once you copy and paste the class, it's not a single class, but a collection of classes. But the class that you're looking for is just the first class. You can click on the settings cog of the pop-up and go to advanced and under custom CSS, you can leave this for now. Head back here and type selector. I know that selector will actually select the pop-up and the overlay as well, which is the reason why I wanted just the class that will select this whole pop-up. Well, how did I know that selector will select the entire uh, pop-up and the overlay as well? Simple. Add a background color. And you'll find out. Just remove, just cut this. And you can see that the background color is added to the entire screen, which means the selector is actually selecting the entire screen. So that's great. So but we just want a part of the selector that is responsible for pop-up. So there, there'll be a series of classes. Once you paste the class, it won't be a single class. So you can simply select the first class and whatever comes after this separated with space you can simply remove that. So once you do this, just add a dot to it. And once you add a dot, so I'm saying, within selector, so within this whole template, select the class, which is my dialog message, which is nothing but the pop-up itself. 
So here I can manipulate all the properties. So I can say, I can give it a border radius, five pixels dotted, sorry, five pixels, or maybe 20 pixels. And you can see that, how that's getting added. Or you can give it a border, five pixels dotted. I can see that being applied to the pop-up but not the overlay. So this is how you find classes and this is how I found the name of the class and then applied CSS transitions to it. Again, what did we do? Well, let me remove this. So I know that selector is selecting the entire thing from here. So you can simply type a property, rule of thumb, just type background color and you will see what that particular class is selecting. So the same thing applies to selector or any class that you find in the inspector. So you'll minimize your window, click on the class that you want to find the name of, click on inspect if you're in a Chrome. If your window appears here, just change the position, just click on these three dots and change the docking size to bottom. If your window appears here, usually I think it appears on the right can put it at the bottom however you like to so once you pinpoint or once you think that that's the class that you're looking for you can double click on that and it will highlight that class in blue and if you're still not sure about it double click this class using the arrow keys on your keyboard navigate it and after the double quotes insert the code snippet which is nothing but uh, inline CSS. I'll share this code snippet so you can use this to test if that's the class you're uh, looking for. So whichever changes its background color to red previously didn't have is actually the class that you're looking for. So here my background color is changed to red for this particular pop-up. It means that the class of this pop-up is dialog message. So similarly I can remove this styling from here and it returns to its original state and if I'm actually looking for something else, maybe if I'm looking for the overlay and again another rule of thumb, you can simply neglect anything that has elementor element as its name. So elementor element are basically your uh, containers so you can simply remove them so I can click on this it says elementor background overlay and I can simply add the code snippet first navigate it using the navigation arrows and you navigate it till here and type or paste the code snippet which is actually your background color and once you finish typing click on enter and whichever changes its background color to red is the class so basically this is the if I want to just get the name of this class so it's actually this so I can double click this it's elementor background overlay so I just need to add dot and elementor selector and followed by dot and elementor background overlay and I can add any CSS that I want to that particular class so finding a class is really easy in Chrome or any other browser just click on inspect and once you you're in the elements view you can hover over it or you can choose this one so when you click on it it will give the class for that particular widget you can click on this again and if you're still not sure if that's the class you're looking for simply double click on it navigate it using the arrow keys on your keyboard till the end after double quotes give a space and paste the style code snippet so you can paste any code snippet but paste background color snippet because whenever something changes its background color you know that if that's the class you're looking for or not so it's that easy it's a foolproof way of getting the names of classes and even after getting the name of the class just want to make sure if that's the actual class that you're looking for okay so in the context of pop-up we understood how to find the names of classes.
what if you have a normal regular elementor page and what if you want to get names of few classes usually selector selects the widget or the class that you're looking for so you can simply click on that particular class and go to advanced css and type selector and apply whatever css you want for that but there are few widgets or few classes and they have layers of elements html elements so that is when you want to pinpoint the name of the class that you want so let's take button and text editor for example i've already showed this in the background gradient tutorial but i'll make it more clear to you in this video so i just want to change the background color of this button so i'll just type selector and say background color and give it a blue background color what's happening it's actually not changing the background color of the button but the widget that's actually wrapping the button so the class for this is not selector so the class for this is something within the selector i need to pinpoint it so i'll just remove the code for now i'll just remove this background color so again you need to follow the same step minimize this right click inspect and as i told you you can see that there is a class called element button maybe that's the one i'm looking for anyway we'll confirm it using the code snippet so i'll just navigate it till the end i'll add my code snippet which will basically change the background color to red and as you can see it changed background color to red of just the button so the class that i'm looking for is element button you can double click copy i can then close this go back here paste the whole class as i told you you just need the name of the first class not the whole classes list so you can remove rest of the classes and just add a dot code that you have added here or you can simply reload the page and now you can simply change background color or apply any property that you want okay let me remove the inline styling that i've added here so i just need to minimize this now that i've pinpointed it you can simply reload the template and that will erase all the changes or all the inline coding that we've added don't worry it won't affect the back end or the front end of your website the button returns to its actual state which is the actual color so i can click on this button again go to advanced custom css type selector so just by that process i found out that it's elementor button so that's the class that i'm looking for now i can add any code that i want and within selector so actually selector is selecting this whole thing but i just wanted the button so i got the name of the class by inspecting it and once i got the name of the class you can also remove this selector it will still work but the problem with that is that it will select every elementor button on that particular page so every elementor button will get that property or every elementor button will get the property you don't want that you want it specifically for the this particular button so it's always advisable to keep selector unless and until you have a unique name so you can also click on this you can go to advanced and name it anything you want and you can replace selector with dot and that name so you can replace selector with dot your name that you type in here if you're using free version you need to do that way so you can simply type selector and within selector i'm actually selecting element or button so i can also change the border radius let's make it five pixels and you can see that when i change the border radius to 20 pixels the button is a bit rounded so you can apply any css property you can apply css transitions or whatever so this is how you get the name of this button class
okay now let's let, let's take the same example i'll add a text editor widget here and i'll go to advanced i'll click on the text editor widget go to custom css and type selector again rule of thumb add background color and see which part of as you can see the entire text editor widget is affected over here but i just want to select the text not the whole wrapper class so again you need to follow the same step minimize this right click inspect before doing that i need to remove the background color we'll just use background color red just to test it so now it return back i'll click on inspect i've clearly pinpointed this you can double click it it says elementary text editor this looks like a legit class again i'll double click it navigate it using the navigation or arrow keys on the keyboard we'll go till the end give a space and paste the inline code snippet this is basically like a test hit enter and it changed its background color so i'll finally wrap this tutorial with the tabs widget so i have a tabs widget i have two tabs and what if you want to add a specific background to just the place where it says tab 1 or tab 2 what if you want to add a background color just there by selector when you add background color it adds background color to the whole tabs but not just the place you want so again you need to pinpoint the name of the tab or name of the class so again follow the same steps minimize this right click inspect and i think i found a class title so mouse over where you see class double click it will select the class copy it's also important to mouse over this class so that it will select the class instead of id double click then it will copy sorry it will select the class and if you want to confirm if that's what you're looking for you can add that background color equal to red code snippet anyway i know that that's the class i'm looking for so i can simply paste it i need to give a space and like i said you can remove the rest of the classes i'll just give this a background color of gray i guess so there you have it i just changed background color of the text that says tab 1 and tab 2 simply by pinpointing the css class so that's how you find css classes using chrome if you're using safari well it works pretty much the same way and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace